Observation is one of the most frequently used and most one of the most useful data collection methods in uh, research. This is especially very a very useful method in social science research and more specifically in qualitative research studies. Like other data collection methods, uh, the there are certain strengths and challenges that we need to have um, an understanding of uh, that are associated with the uh, observation as the data collection method. So what are the, the main strengths because of which we need to or we make use of data of observation as a, as a data collection method is very important. But it is also very important that we need to have an understanding of the possible challenges or maybe you can call weaknesses of this uh, method of data collection. So first, the strengths. The first one is that the directness of uh, this method in terms of data collection. Um, and by this, what we mean is that observation is, is, is a data collection method that gives an opportunity to the researchers themselves to directly go into the field and collect data through direct observation. Um, as a result, um, there is more genuineness and authenticity in terms of the data that they are collecting because they are the primary witness to, these, to the context, to the situation, um, and to the side where they are collecting data. And so they can be sure that the data that they are collecting is authentic. Uh, so they are not depending on other, others generally or even on the perceptions of others uh, related to the, uh, the questions that they want to, on, uh, to answer. Secondly, contextual detail. Uh, this is an, uh, this is a data collection method that helps the researchers in collecting data, not just the data, but also in understanding and having a first-hand experience of the context in which they are conducting their research. So there is a good deal of contextual detail, and as we know that in most social science research studies, we need we, we need not only to have understanding of the data that we are collecting, but also the situation or the context in which we are collecting the data. That helps in later on in the interpretation of the data, in the critical analysis of the data, because the researchers have exposure to the context and the environment uh, and the situation in which they have conducted uh, in which they have collected the data. Then this helps, uh, um, uh, this uh, type of data collection method also helps in, um, in actually collecting data uh, related to behaviors. Um, and so it is action focused. So in many cases, we cannot collect data related to the actions of the research participants or the behaviors of the research participants in actual situations through other data collection methods, such as through uh, questionnaires or through, through interviews. So this method helps in directly collecting data related to the actions and behaviors of participants in uh, our research context. Um, and therefore, it is indispensable in certain cases, uh, especially in cases where we cannot collect data through the perceptions of, of the participants, such as through interviews or through questionnaires. For example, if we are collecting data in context where there, where there are children who cannot express themselves, or where there, are, there is a, linguist, a language barrier, uh, where the participants uh, and, and the researcher cannot communicate using language uh, as a source of communication. So there, um, this type of data collection method becomes indispensable. 
Now, despite the importance and the usefulness of this data collection method, observation has certain challenges as well, uh, or you can say certain weaknesses. So the first one is researcher bias. In many cases, the researcher might be collecting uh, data, uh, keep, keeping in view his or her own biases. So maybe they might be focusing on certain aspects of the behavior that they are, or the situation uh, uh, that uh, they are interested in. <clears throat> but they might be ignoring other aspects of that, that particular reality or that particular situation or that particular behavior in particular situations. So there, can, there, is, there could be danger of researcher bias. Similarly, lack of focus. In many cases, especially in participant observation, where the, res the researcher is also participating in the action, uh, they, they could lose focus of uh, their research questions or objectives, and they can get lost in action or in other things that are not related to their research. And so that can lead to lack of focus. So as a researcher, we need to have uh, this re realization that we are there as a researcher rather than actually as participants. Then misinterpretation. In many cases, it happens that there are certain actions that could be misinterpreted by the researcher. Uh, there could also be the danger that the participants are, are behaving artificially. Uh, or like they are maybe playing to the gallery. And so as a result, they, they might be behaving in certain ways to show that they're doing some certain thing, but that could lead to misinterpretation or misrepresentation of the actual and real situation. So that again is a challenge. Um, time and resource consuming. Again, observation at the data collection method is quite time consuming, especially on the part of the main researchers. If they have to uh, themselves, they have to go into the to the site and collect data. And also in terms of resource um, consumption, especially if long distance travels uh, are, are involved, in that, and generally these are involved in observational studies where you have to go to the site. Um, <clears throat> that can be a challenge um, that we need to think about before we, uh, we plan to make use of observations in our research studies. And lastly, a researcher role transformation. Again, uh, this is something that can, that can happen that the researcher might felt lost um, a, during the data collection method, uh, 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 data collection process, and as a result, there is the chance that they lose sight that they are researchers, and uh, they in turn get lost in the situation or they uh, get lost, lost in the activities of the participant to an extent where they lose the focus of, of their research study or they lose the focus of the kind of data that they need to collect or they might lose focus in terms of the time management where they need to complete the data collection process in a particular duration of time. So these are some of the challenges of the observation as a data collection method. So as we know that uh, there are a good deal of strengths of this data, and in some cases, this data collection method, method is indispensable. So keeping in view the challenges of observation as a data collection method, generally observations are used um, in triangulation with other data collection methods, such as with interviews or questionnaires. Um, in order to strengthen or in order to triangulate uh, the data collection process and as a result the, uh, to find better and more authentic answers to our research questions.